If you want to learn how to communicate better with your horse through use of your aids, if you're interested in improving your aids and your horse's responsiveness to those aids, then I would invite you to watch this masterclass. I'm going to share with you my system so you can develop your own system and we can teach you a self-diagnostic for when you have to work by yourself to measure your own progress and communication skills with your horse. Hi, I'm Laura Graves. I'm an Olympian and team rider for the U.S. Equestrian Team. A lot of you at home might have horses who you feel are behind the leg. Maybe they resist the bridle. Maybe they pull on the bridle. Maybe they do something worse. Maybe they kick out when you use your leg. Maybe they don't have a great reaction to the whip. Maybe you're just stuck in feeling how to approach these problems with your horse at all. Our goal here is to help you address these super common problems that I experience here every day on my own farm with my own horses and troubleshooting the most positive ways to get a positive reaction out of your horse. Without that internal dialogue and really holding ourselves accountable every time we touch our horse, um, we find ourselves reacting with emotion. Something feels bad or the horse misbehaves and we act out because we feel uncomfortable with their behavior or they're pulling and that makes us frustrated. Um, having that dialogue with myself keeps me very focused on what it is I'm trying to train my horse to do and keeps my emotions on the sideline. If you want to get the most out of your dressage horse, then we have to expect the most out of ourselves as riders. That means holding ourselves accountable for our aids and our horse's reactions to them.